Hello, welcome back to my channel. You saw the thumbnail. I did not think it would be this soon. We got another package from Trixie Cosmetics. And it is red eyeshadows. So yes, I was very excited to play with this. Um, you can tell by the look that I decided to go a little out of my comfort zone with um, sticking to the reds that are in here. I decided to just play around with everything and give you guys a nice complete review of the collection. So if it seems like something you're interested in, keep on watching. All right, so my base is already done, my brows are done, all of the products that I've already used will be linked in the description box down below. But the first uh, thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Morphe A11 brush and we're gonna pick up Blocked and we're gonna brush this all through the crease. We're going to take a Morphe A29 brush and we're going to pick up Stupid Cupid. Taking another Morphe A29 brush, we're going to pack Heartbreaker on the outer lid. Bringing it up to me with Stupid Cupid. Taking a Morphe A11, we're going to dip into the Rebound palette and we're going to take Last Call. Nice. Initially just stamping that right over the other two shades that we laid down. I'm going to start to pull it out. Beautiful. Going back over those two shades with the Morphe A11, we're going to pick up Stupid Cupid. Just gives it more of a... It's giving me like Scarlet Witch vibes. All of these shades married together so beautifully. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe A29 and we're gonna pick up You Up and we're gonna go along the lower lash line.
And then before this gets too messy, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush. Specifically a Morphe A7, and we're gonna take you up and we're gonna flick that out. Then back in with Last Call, we're gonna buff out you up. I didn't want it to be so prominent, that's why I did that. Back in with last call. Alright, so I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to grab Heartbreaker and we're just going to pack this on the outer corner. This looks so good. You guys, I love Trixie's eyeshadows. Wait, I'm gonna switch fingers. All right, I'm gonna take my finger again and we're gonna go in with Hot Mess. I'm just gonna pack this on the inner portion. This is so pretty. Next, I'm going to take a damp a Morphe A7 brush and we're going to pick up cry baby we're gonna go on the lower lash line next I'm gonna take a Morphe A20 and we're gonna go into swipe right I know it's not the typical brush that you would use, but I just want a nice buffing of this up through this area. Just like that. We're going to take a Morphe A7 and we're going to go in with Zaddy and we're going to pop that in the inner lower corner. This is so pretty. And I wasn't even gonna use this shade. What is wrong with me? I'm layering this over the blue because it seems to be turning green and I'm living. Giving me my full rainbow fantasy here. Wow, this palette is sick. Look at this. Oh, my lips are so damn dry. What is wrong with me? What am I doing here? I love this. 
some stuff. I mean, it's like half a dollar because I just, I just got this too. Um, I cannot get over this yellow. The reason why I keep tapping off my brush is because the blue has little specks of glitter in it. I don't want to put that back in the yellow pan. There's still one more shade that I want to use. I know I've used a lot, but I just want to take a little bit of Disco Ball and go right underneath the brow. And we're going to pick that up on a Morphe A18. Because it was... Yep. Yep. The day that I'm filming this is the day that these palettes launched, and I don't know. This is not like sold out already. I would grab this because to me, this little Trixie palette, perfect for travel, perfect for the person that likes color. I mean, we are coming up right now, it's like Coachella season, so there's that. I'm just gonna take this in my finger. Oh my god. What in the world? What kind of magic is Trixie doing over there? And this brush is dry, it's not... And once again with the finger... Maybe a little too much, but oh well. I mean, this honestly reminds me of like one of Jeffrey's highlighters. It's, it's sick. I don't know. I was thinking about doing another liner, like black, maybe white, but that might be doing a little bit too much. So let me go and throw on my blush and my highlight and stuff. And I'll be right back because there is a set of lashes that came with this collection and I'm very excited to try those. Alright, so I went ahead and threw on my ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner and Amethyst Hour on the waterline. I did use my Lancome Lashy Doll on the top lashes and the inner part of the lower lashes. And for the outer part of the lower lashes, I'm not sure if it's reading on camera, but I did go ahead and use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang in blue. Just to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive with the outer under wing, which I really like. I'm, I don't know why, but this gives me like, I don't know, like 70s or 80s vibes. It's just, I love it. And that's, yeah. It's such a cute color story. But I really cannot get over that highlight up on the brow. It's... The last thing that came in this collection, um, well, the PR bundle that I was sent by Trixie Cosmetics, was the Bad Girl Lashes, and I'm going to throw these on, and I'll be right back. All right, and the lashes are on. I love them. I think that they are really good quality for the price. The only thing is, is that they have a thick band. I'm not used to such a thick band because I'm normally buying, like, 
House of Lashes or Dollar Tree Lashes. Um, so they have a really thin band. But I will say they have like a snug factor like I'm not used to because of how thick of the band is. So like they're right up against my other lashes, like my lash line. So there's that. But I think that they look beautiful. eyeshadow still it's just it's popping um but let's just finish off with our lips i do have my lip balm on but i'm gonna take my trixie cosmetics uh cherry chip i have yet to use this shade yet i bought this a long time ago i just tried a little bit today and i was like oh why have i not used this so i'm gonna take a morphe a25 brush and we're just gonna tap a little bit off the top of there and i know it's not normal or like I'm just gonna tap a little bit on the inner and the outer right here kind of gives you that like blotted lip look And I decided to do a darker lip because of how colorful the makeup is. I think this is like ox blood. I don't know. It looks really nice, but we're not done because we're going to top it off with some high bulb. Ooh, did that just break? I don't know if you guys heard that, but that did not sound cute when I opened that. I hope it didn't break. I usually start by doing the top part of my lip, and then I'll go through the bottom. This lip looks sick. Like, this is just a moment by itself. And it matches my shirt! <gasps> that was not planned. This is sick. Living for this lip. Okay, let me zoom out. Let's get a final assessment of this entire collection, and yeah, be right back. All right, you guys, I am in love with this collection, specifically just because of the price points for everything. $10 lashes, they're great. Um, this, I think they're $16 for the lip glosses. Let me just make sure. $16 for the lip glosses, which I did not get the hot date lip gloss but i'm planning on purchasing it because i want that little bag so bad um but the rebound palette 24 dollars. this little baby i used every single shade in this today and it is the perfect little colorful palette then we get to the breakup palette which is a 45 dollar eyeshadow palette for this palette um, I did do a look with this originally and I scrapped it because I thought that I wasn't being inclusive enough for this collection. I was only sticking to the reds and that's just because I have like a love for red eyeshadows. So I did scrap the look completely um, and I decided to do a little bit more of a cohesive look with the two of them like accompanying each other. So this is a beautiful palette for the $45 price point that it is. The reds in here are amazing. Um, everything blends out so beautifully. It's just, you can't go wrong. And this packaging, 
we need more heart stuff like this like individual blushes for the overall pr box it's a 95 dollar uh price point you do get the two palettes and a, a bad girl set of the lashes which the bad girl lashes are a little bit more dramatic um whereas the sad girl are a little bit more natural so there is that to consider when you're purchasing the pr box oh and you do get this custom little photo isn't this cute i love it um but yeah thank you very much trixie cosmetics i absolutely love being a part of the pr team all right and thank you guys very much for watching today's video if you enjoyed please leave a comment down below what your favorite part was um remember to like comment and subscribe and keep an eye out for what i have coming next have a great day